if I were to make a movie trailer about me going into Walmart, how would that sound? Well, it might sound something like this. <clears throat> In a world filled with self-serving gadgets, one man struggles to resist the dog man. Yep, that's my trip in a Walmart. And do you know why? I don't know about your Walmart. But ours probably aren't as busy. It doesn't matter which one I go to. There's one every... They're 50 miles away, all of them. But whichever one I pick, they're not super busy. Now, you go to a big city Walmart, yeah, they're packed. There's always that one lady, man. I try to walk the other way. I don't try to walk by her. She's the one in the smock. You know, got the tandem tag and all that. She's got that blue smock on. They got smocks. They don't have the vest. They'll have the smock. Well, get me a good smock. I got some good pockets in them things. Man, that, oh. Uh, well, here's what this lady says. If she sees you, if she catches you, she's going to do this to you. We can get you over here. We can get you over here. And I look over here. No. No! No! She's directing me to the self-checkout counter. And I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I don't care if I gotta wait in line. Two hours to get the old woman that they always got there that wants to have the conversation. Well, how's your day? It's good. Maybe I'd be faster if I went to the self-checkout. But here's the problem with the self-checkout. In my eyes. After the initial trying to figure it out, Okay, you're, this is from coming from a guy that don't never use them. I think I've used them once. That was the last time. Ain't never going to do it again. After all that, then I got a bag of my own crap, right? My pack of skibbies. You know, my double, double bubble bubble gum and my 99 cent Suave shampoo. I got to put that all in the bag myself. Well, that's not... Too big of an effort. But then you got the battle with those bags. You know, you got to do this. I've seen them. And if you don't get them wet enough or just right, five of them pop out. Five, why am I looking at you? Five of them pop out. And then I get mad. And I just, then I'll, it's on, man. I prefer to go to the old lady. She's retired. She's trying to make some extra money. Sorry. The dogs are barking. And I'm expecting a FedEx. And wouldn't it be just the timing? Where am I? So I refuse those at all costs. Not only because I don't want to do them. Is I don't believe in them. Those are taking jobs away from people. But it's the same people that are using them, that are complaining there's no jobs. Imagine that. i got a few facts here I'm going to pull up. I ain't figured this software out yet. I, I don't, it's, free, it's killing my soul. I can, get the, I can get the window pulled up in here, but I can't scroll on it, and there ain't good videos on it. So I'm going to pull this up off to the side. Well, that ain't the one I want. Give me a second. I've got a window open. Here we go. Let me scroll over here. Just some interesting facts about self-checkout. I'll just go over some of the big ones. Now, one problem they do have 
and you see them on YouTube all the time, is theft. Oh yeah, they're they're going to the self checkouts and they're can they're putting stuff inside each other. I don't know how they do it, but they're stealing things. They're not scanning everything. And where's the yeah uh, yeah theft rates on a regular checkout with a human is one point four percent. But on a self-checkout, the theft rate rockets up to 4% higher. $13 billion a year in losses just from the self-checkouts. How many people could you hire for $13 billion? 80% of large grocery stores have implemented self-checkout kiosks. Well, mine does not have one. Unfortunately, I quit shopping there. I think I go to Aldi now. I don't think they have one. I'm pretty sure they don't. I don't go to them. But they only have a couple of registers up there anyway. Uh, Let's see. 33% of customers encounter issues with self-checkout at least once per purchase. Another reason I don't want to go to them. There's going to be something I got to scan. Okay? And it ain't going to scan. And it's probably going to be my pack of skibbies. It will be. It's just the law of nature. You know, remember back in that day, you'd have your pack of skibbies and, and, and there wasn't no price on it. Because you always made, you better make sure there's a price on it back in the day. Moral, we need a price check on the tidy whitey fruit of the looms. Well, the whole store knew. You was buying tidy whitey fruit of the looms. Yep, well, let's get back to this. So they got a high theft rate, number one. Where's the one I seen? Self-checkout. Uh, la, la, la. We already did that. Self-checkout systems can reduce checkout times by up to 40%. <laughs> Not if guys like me are in line. Uh-uh, because I'm cussing. I'm throwing things. Yeah, it ain't happening. You don't want me in your self-checkout. They're going to throw me out. 55% of consumers believe self-checkout options reduce their waiting time. And that's because everybody's in a hurry today. I don't mind waiting a little longer for the person. I like seeing them mess up sometimes. That's fun. Uh, No, you charge me twice for that. And she's got to look. Oh, you're right. I did. Imagine if they made me do it, I might scan the same thing 42 times. So I'm saving money by not going to it. Oh, yeah. 65% of shoppers prefer self-checkout because they find it faster and more convenient. There we go again. Mm -hmm. The United States accounts for nearly 40% of all the self-checkouts. That don't surprise me. We're the chubbiest nation in the country. Might as well have all the laziest means of shopping. The average cost of one of those self-checkout things, of implementing a self-checkout kiosk, ranges from 25000 to 35000 So right off the bat, that's a whole year's salary for one of them Walmart people or any store that it's in. Pretty much a year. I don't know what they get paid, but that's probably close to about, you know, minimum wage, maybe a little more. Uh, let's see. Retailers report a 20 to 25% reduction in operating costs due to self-checkout. Well, that that 20 to 25% is the employee. It isn't the electricity or anything like that. And here's one I expected. Over 70% of consumers under the age of 35 prefer using self-checkout. And around here, that's all I see using them. I rarely see people over 50 using them. And that's who are in line. You know, we're used to that. To getting checked out by people, not not some computer scanner. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's one I don't believe. Installing self-checkout can lead to 15 cent increase in store sales. Ah, baloney. If you need something, you need something. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to, before I go in the store, go, hmm, 
I wonder what the checkout process is. Do I need to go in here? I just don't know what the checkout process is. If it's going to be that I got to wait for that old lady, oh, I just don't have time. I don't think people are thinking about that. And if they are, they need to get a job. <laughs> they can't get a job because they're going to the scanner that took their job. Don't get me started, man. 50% of retailers in Europe have adopted self-checkout technology. Oh, good for them. They always have been following our lead. And it ain't always a good lead. Oh, let me get rid of this window. If I read any more, I'm going to explode, man. Nope. But I think the day is coming, guys, where uh, we are going to be forced to use them or we don't get stuff. But there's Amazon. I ain't got to do no self-checkout there or bag nothing. And I, and I have noticed, and man, I know that's taking jobs too. But living rural, 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 rural well, I can't say that today. Living well the way I do. Rather than to drive 50, like today, I just got a, a box of 24 batteries, okay? Yeah, the double A, 24 of them for 11, for 12 bucks. I'm like, yeah, you can't go to the store and get them for that. I ordered that about this time yesterday afternoon, and I just got it. You can't beat that. And it came by the post, post office. Yeah. Well, we got a center up in Tulsa now, so we get stuff, yeah, the next day usually. So, uh, you know, that's one thing that's destroying retail stores is Amazon. But, man, we're, we you got to love it. I mean, anything you want is on there, and it'll be here tomorrow. Saves me the gas money. And I don't have to, you know, I, I'm a Amazon Prime member, so I don't have to pay shipping. Everything. You pay for everything somehow or another. But that was a good deal. There's no way I could have touched that price in Walmart. Or a dollar store, 24 batteries. And, you know, my blood pressure machine, that takes four. That doesn't last long in there. Remotes, you got tons of things that run on those kind of batteries. Hey, it's a good deal. So anyway, what are your thoughts? Do you use the self-checkout? I don't care if I did. I If I only have a pack of gum, which I don't chew gum, I'm still going to the one with the human. To get the personal experience. I want to see a mess up too. $48.12. It's a pack of gum, man. $48. Would you like to buy the extended warranty on your gum? No. Push the button, please. That's a new thing. That's another. Well, that's another video. Selling the. Uh, oh, yeah. Buy a remote. You want to buy that extended warranty for $60? No. I will throw it in the trash and get a new one. No, I didn't freeze. <laughs> it's the effect, you know. Thanks for watching. Let me know your comments. Happy trails.